we have incorporated the bullseye camera system with the target tracker moving target system. We built a prototype armor plated box to secure the bullseye camera system on the target tracker system and it also can be used standalone and what that does is it gives you the best straight on angle at your target so you can see it on your laptop feedback wirelessly. We have prototyped two models for testing today. One is the hard plastic target which we use as a standard on our advanced tactical systems with target tracker and the other is a paper target uh, prototype also made up to show you that you can use virtually any target with both of these systems combined. I'm Wayne McGregor, the CEO of Target Tracker. What we've done here is a joint venture between Target Tracker and Bullseye Camera Systems. Um, the, uh, the objective of this uh, collaboration is basically so we can have video feedback for our sniper training so when shots are made on the target, they're fed back through the laptop and our trainers can watch as the snipers shoot during the exercise. This can also be used for short range combat tactical. So when you're engaging the target, it will record your shots um, on the, uh, the laptop. So you can judge and you can go through all your training exercises with your officers or military leaders or even uh, civilians that want to be the best shot that they can be. So what we do is we've set this up, we've turned the system on here, which basically we've built this metal enclosure um, so it will bullets in the operation. I turn the system on inside here, this is the antenna for it, and this system here has a thousand yard range. So we can use this pretty much anywhere. Um, we've prototyped the um, 3D SWAT dummy on the target, so very simple and easy to replace targets here. And we also prototyped um, a setup for paper targets as well. Now what we're going to do now is basically, um, I have my range finder right here. And this is the very simple controls for the target tracker. So I'm going to drive it down 100 yards. And we're going to start with that as a basis of our shots. So what I've done now is I've brought up the bullseye camera system software and we're going to select start live mode and basically it is taking a picture of the camera and the target so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the boxes on here because really all I want to gauge is the center mass and head shots on this system so I'm going to move the little square indicator on here that is just basically going to represent center mass on the target. So now that we have that complete we're going to move the target down a hundred yards we're going to take some stationary shots then we're going to move it to 200 yards and probably go out further. Um, we have approximately a 600 yard range at this location. The steering is super simple in the operation for the target tracker. This steers the steering wheels here and this is forward and reverse. Um, what I'm shooting here, this is a DPMS 308 and I'm using a Nikon BDC scope um, when we're basically going to uh, check out this targeting system. Now what I've done here is I've placed the target when you select shooting mode all you do is hit the space bar to see where your last shot was. So, and I'm just going for strictly center mass shots. Okay, so I'm going to take my shots. I've adjusted my shooting bench. And uh, we're going to focus on head and center mass shots only.
Okay, so right there it's showing me on the computer that I just took two center mass shots on target. So right there it's showing me that I just took a head shot on target. So the system's working very effective at 100 yards. Okay, so I took my first five shots at 100 yards. We have one here, one here, two in the heart, and one right here. So that's five on five. What we've done now is we've moved the target back to a 200 yard distance. And then we're going to show you this, and then we're going to show you the version with the paper target on it as well. Now what I can do in between shooters is I can save that data. So if I'm running um, a law enforcement agency with uh, many different shooters, I can save their shot data real time exactly how um, it's going down in the field. The next nice thing is the software improvement that's coming out is the live video feed. So as we're running the moving targets with that video feed, we can actually watch it and, and mark the shots on target uh, per each shooter uh, during the moving target system training. So now we're going to take our 200 yard shot. So I'll click on my shooting session and we'll record those shots as well. Okay, so now we have successful markings at 200 yards. We're going to switch over to the paper target. Okay, so that was our 200 yard shot. Um, I shot one here and then one right there as well. So uh, we're gonna change over to the paper targets and show you the difference in the spectrum of the um, size of the target and the ease of use. Okay, now what we've done is we've changed the targets over. This is to simulate a sniper taking out a bad guy with a hostage. So now that we put the paper target on, I'm gonna go through the same process. I'm basically going to adjust my target area and um, then we can see where all the shots land. So basically we'll have uh, the shots recorded right here and the data that we need so we can actually go through more shooters faster on a training assignment. If you look at this from a fire range methodology, this would be our advanced version where the target trackers could all have the cameras on there and no one would ever have to pass the firing line. You just drive the targets out to you and go from there. So then we address our shooting mode over here. So we put a couple successful shots on target and we've marked them right here with the system. And needless to say the perpetrator would now be deceased and the hostage would be free with absolutely no wounds. That's the goal of this training.